Hey, what's going on, Ogopogo, back in Skyrim? Thanks for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with us while we continue our adventure. In the last episode, we were up and we told Jarl Balgruff about the dragon attack in Helgen. He seemed pretty concerned and had us talk to his court wizard, Farangar. He wants us to head up to Bleak Falls Barrow find a dragon stone now i know there seemed to be a little bit of urgency in this request that jarl Bog Bulgraf gave us but we've got some things to take care of on our own we've got uh, a couple things we have to find out it's going to benefit ourselves as much as we want to help white run and the people in the surrounding area we made our way down uh from dragon's reach and we found the bannered mare now bjorlum the the uh, coach driver, the carriage driver out in by uh, the stables here, White Red, told us that we might be able to find some information from s the barkeep here at Bionard Mayor. Plus, we need something to eat. And maybe a place to stay, because it is late. So let's go in and uh, see if we can get a bite to eat and a place to sleep. Just stoke the fire. No, Take a seat and get the cold lungs. out. One more song. What say you? Well, this yeah. place is hopping. What the hell is a kid doing in here? I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. Yeah, it's yeah. Fun most days. Good for you. Yeah, I bet. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care Carlotta. about. Carlotta. Oh, so is that your daughter? Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. The guy singing? Uh, is he giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Yeah. What a son of a bitch. Okay, well, what about if I talk to him? See if I can cock some sense into him, get you to leave, get him to leave you alone. If you want to try, go right ahead. Oh, yes, Miss Holmes. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Do you, does this happen often? Do you get a lot of attention from men? I, I would kind of guess you would. You've got no idea. Half the men in Whiterun have proposed to me. Okay. Some were even single. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They'll never understand. Sorry, no I didn't mean to laugh. No flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Okay. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Okay. Well, I can understand that. That's a responsible parent. I congratulate you on that. I wouldn't uh, maybe bring her. Well, I don't know. I shouldn't say. That's that's up to you to decide. But I'll uh, talk to Mikhail and see what I could do. Thanks for your time, Carlotta. And uh, we'll hope it goes better for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Poor thing. Need to fix your floors here, guys. Yeah, this is quite the... the hop in place this is the hot spot how you doing buddy what is it? sorry i guess i'm interrupting eating your bread everybody's having a bite to eat who are you sinmir how are you sir i fear the night because werewolves and vampires don't mind one of them battleborns these guys are pretty pushy werewolves eh okay well have a good evening how about you uh oh ulfberth warbear how are you sir need something Okay. Hello. I heard Alda. Gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You the know, gourmet. fella who wrote that cookbook? Ah, yes. That, uh, isn't he the guy with the wrinkled forehead? You Sadia. see those warriors from Hammerfell? Yeah. They've got curved swords. <laughs> curved swords. Curved swords. You don't say. I think I need something to eat here, Halda. What do you got for sale? They say the college has been snooping around Sarthal. Sarthal. Ages in a burial crypt. In a burial no, crypt? Come of that. No, I can kind of agree with you on that. Actually, uh, have you heard any rumors I lately? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big Gildergreen. Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the wind district. Oh, okay. Is that the one? Part of the Temple of Kinareth. Okay. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Okay, okay. Well, I'll uh, maybe check into that and see if I can help out. What do you got to eat? Look. 
Well, you got some baked potatoes. Maybe a mead might help. And, uh, oh, you got some cooked beef. Cooked catfish. I think that'll do for now. Thank you very much. I'm going to kind of hang out here for a little bit, but I might even get a room for me in a little bit if that's cool. Need anything else? Just let me know. I will do. Thanks, Hulda. Wow, there's some pretty good lookers around. Skyrim, I must say. Hello, Sadia. If it's work you're looking for? Right. Hulda's the one to talk to. I just spoke to her, but it didn't look like she was offering any work. I'll, uh... I'm telling you, I heard it, howling. I'm looking Those for work. Werewolf tales are true. That's what this other guy said about the werewolves. Don't know anything about it. But I'm looking for some work. You got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Yarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Bounty letter. That's, uh, I'm a bounty hunter. I'm Cat the Bounty Hunter, if you hadn't heard of me. Thank you very much. I'll take a I look at I've that. some mugs need scrubbing. Yeah, that's not quite the kind of work I was looking for. Let's see what this bounty letter has to say. By order of Balgruff the Greater. To all able-bodied men and women of Whiterun, the bandits located in Halted Stream Camp have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader. Preventus Avenici. Very useful. Uh, thank you very much, Halda. Now, I've been wondering if this is uh, Mikhail. He's not too bad on that loot. Excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail oh. gets them, they're got. You're one of those guys, are you? Well, listen, I was just talking to Carlotta, and uh, I don't think she likes you, dude. I think uh, maybe it might be best if you just leave her alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? No, I'm sorry, I volunteered. But that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. Yeah, I hate to break the news to you, buddy, but uh, she's looking for like a, you know, somebody with a dick or something. How about you just, uh, stop this nonsense? Face it, she's not yours. What did you just say? You heard all me. I heard was a sound of jealousy. I'm not jealous at all. Dude, I've got fur, claws, and I cough up fur balls. You got nothing on me. And I'm definitely not going to pay you. So, uh, how about you just leave her alone or else? I don't have to take that from you. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Mikhail, how about you take... Piss right off. Get your face out of that hole and piss off. Get here. I'm to finish your show for you. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who whacked on his pecker while he laid in bed. Punch, I'll give you that. Yeah, I know. So are you going to leave Carla, Carlotta alone or you want this to get worse? Okay. On my honor, Carlotta All right. won't have to worry about me ever again. Okay. Probably a pretty wise choice there, buddy. Right back at it. All covered in blood. Good for you, man. You're a real uh, warrior. Now, is Carlotta still around or did she take off? I kind of hope she saw that. Make me look a little better. Everybody's leaving now. That's Sadia. Well, it looks like uh, Carlotta took off. Oh, well. Well, hello. Oh, you're a grain main. Grain main and battleborns. You're quite the looker too there, Olfina. Yes, I do. Hmm. Well, I can't say it in public. All right. Well, you know what, Halda? I'm going to go up to my room and have a bite to eat if you got one to spare anyways. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Okay. I've been thinking of selling the into Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? I was just looking to get a room for the night if you don't, if you got one. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. For the day. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Where is this I'll place? I'll show you to your room. Right oh. this way. Okay. I was hoping you'd ask or suggest that. Coin purse, some bread. Battleborn. Bottoms up, buddy. 
Don't give me that look. Ah. Let me know if there's anything else you need. It's a nice cozy room. Got some sheets on the bed. Thank you very much. Have a great night, Holda. Well, we had a good night's sleep. Bite to eat. We're ready to roll. It's like the market's in full swing. I do have some, uh... I want to check this this town out. Now, Dad said he set us up with a place. I, uh... What's the matter? You oh. can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? I could sure stand the sight of a strong Nord woman. No worries about that. But I did, uh... You know, Dad set us up with a place. He said somewhere just outside of Whiterun. So if we're going to be staying around this area, this city... Kind of want to oh. scope it out. Maybe get to know some of the town folk. Let's just observe for a few minutes. What are you doing that for? Doing what? Take a hike, kid. Mister, could you spare a coin? No. Kids always wanting to pull my tail and yank on my fur. You know what? I'm sure you could charge double for those. If you promise not to yank my tail. Okay. Oh, here. Here, have a piece of gold then. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Why are you begging? It's what Brennan once said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since mom, since she died. Oh. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. I feel terrible. I was, I was sloughing you off, kid. I thought you were just uh, yanking my chain there, but... Well, you know what? Uh, Stay safe. Just keep your chin up. Things will come together. I, 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 I'm in no position to be adopting anybody right now. I gave you one already. Yeah, I gave you one already. Take it easy. Ah, now I feel bad. I'm not a... I don't like kids. You know? Like I said, they're always yanking on my tail and pulling my fur and... So I want to kind of get to know the town folk and, you know, we came here to be a master thief. But if we're going to be staying around this city, I want to be polite and, and have everybody on my side sort of thing, you know? How are you, sir? Do you get to the cloud district very often? No, I don't. What am I saying? Of course you don't. Oh, you're kind of a snobby, uh... Yes. Whatever, buddy. Hey, is that Carlotta? Is this the lineup? Okay, these guys are just kind of stand here. Carlotta! How are you, dear? Listen, uh, I... Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. Oh, that's where you you sell vegetables and fruits and stuff. Good for you. Listen, uh, ah, I talked to Mikhail last night. I guess you had left, so uh, it was you know very calm, peaceful sort of conversation, and I uh, convinced him that he shouldn't be bothering you anymore. Really? Yeah. You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I did. I thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Well, hey, no thanks needed. No, 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 no. It was my pleasure. Holy crap. Well, thank you very much, Carlotta. I really appreciate it. And uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. I will do. And I uh, hope to see you again sometime there, Carlotta. What's this guy sell? Oh, hello. Yisolda. Holda was talking about you. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Are you? Well, I got a, maybe two or three septums I can help you out with. What are you, are you looking to become a merchant, are you? Before my Ma and Da passed, yeah. I told them that one day, 
I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. A Khajiit, of course. Help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth tusk. Mammoth tusk. Said than done. I bet. Especially for a pretty lady like yourself. Well, maybe I can help you with that. I don't know about that, though. A mammoth? And yanking out their tuf tusk? I'd be like pulling teeth. Let's, uh... Well, I could probably help you with that. Yep. If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain. I future. think I could probably teach you a thing or two about trading. So you mentioned trading caravans. Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads. And That's right, we do. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a Khajiit. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Eh, it's Worst not a big deal. Is, nobody wants them in the cities. What? Nobody trusts them. What are you talking about? Why not? Reputation mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. <clears throat> not me. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. I'm not one of those apples, by the way. So what uh, do you know? Excuse me. Jeez, people are pushy around here. So what do you know about the Khajiit? About the same as everyone else. Right. They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Yes, Great we are. Good yes, traders. very much so. The way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's not. It's beautiful. Tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. What? Okay, well, listen, I'll see what I can do about your mammoth task, and I'll try to get back to you on that, okay? Farewell. You take care. Have a good day, you solda. What do you do? Oh, you sell meat. I'm not uh, really up for any meat right now. This Nazim guy, I think I should try to teach him a lesson, too. Like I said, I gotta behave myself around here. Well, that was pretty nice of Carlotta, like 250 clams, man. Now, we got, uh... We've got a little bit of uh, cashola that we can spend now. And who might you be? Janassa, how are you today? Blade and shadow, silence and death. Right. These are my arts. Ah, you're a warrior. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. I'm not really into paintings or nothing like that. So you're a mercenary, are you? I am an artisan, painting uh -huh. in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. But yes. I will take coin to fight at your side. Oh. Where is the value in creating art if there is nobody left alive to see it? Absolutely. So you could be like a fight by my side, like a warrior, like a partner, hey? Well, you know what? I don't have that kind of cash on me, but uh, it's something I might consider down the road. Uh, maybe another time, perhaps. If you change your mind, seek me out here. I will definitely do that, Janassa. Thank you, and... Uh, Get your eyes checked. Stop in the morning to you, sir. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Uh, no. It's not a tumor. Fresh baked loaves. Eyes watching me. Bellathor's general goods. Let's go check out Bellathor's. Welcome to Bellathor's general goods. Well, Welcome thank you. Indeed. Thank you very much. How are you today, sir? I just came in to have a look around at your beautiful shop here. You got some clay. Everything's for sale. Some glass. Friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd Hinges. A locks. Oh, you got everything here. Oh, whoa. He didn't see it. I can tell you're a discriminating customer. Perhaps yes. you're a wealthy one, too. Hmm? Oh, very, very much so. Uh, what have you got for sale? I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's, no. That's a little joke. That's good. How's business, anyways? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. Is that on a the mammoth one tusk? Hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well... Mm -hmm. Elevated prices. Ah. Uh, All that matters I is see. that I have what you need. And it's worth every septum. Yeah. Well, what brings a Breton to Skyrim? Isn't it obvious? No. By the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Yeah, uh, you're a bit Not of a snake. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, uh, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this 
frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. I don't know if I want to deal with you. Back. Well, that's a horker task. We need a mammoth task. You don't happen to have you one by chance, do you? Need. I am trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, well, let's see what you do have. You got a lot of stuff here. You got a mammoth task. 444 beans. No, thank you. No, thank you. That can be put on the back burner for sure. What do you got for armor? <gasps> you got a backpack. I really want one of those. But I think we'll see if we can obtain one another way. And maybe even a better one. Travel lantern. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Remember, I'll give you the best deals or die trying. Yeah, I imagine. Take it easy. The best deals or die trying. Whatever. This guy's such a snake. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And What's what going on here? Hmm? What a poor old. Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Spare coin Your for son a chose his baby. side and he chose poorly. And now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never Sir, accept his death. I'll be sure to bring some back my for you the next time I Brand new one. It's the guy the little girl was so talking about. Where is he? He's not taking Where advantage you of you, is he? Cuts, fresh from the wilds. Do you believe this old hat? Holding him. Greymane. Oh, this is that Greymane and Battleborn like clan dispute that's been going on. You know what? We better stay out of that. He died a storm traitor. And you, you best now, we were up in that area, and it looked like mostly houses and stuff. So I think we better... Uh... Who's this? Oh, Halda. Hey there, sir. Let's go, uh, see if we can find this place that dad and, and uh, grandfather have set up for us. We saw that, did they? Not too sure if I... I don't know if I like you Battleborns. You seem like you're um, somewhat of some bullies. Not big on bullies. Yeah, what are you going to do about it there, tough guy? Nice feathers. Peroxide that hair or what? I don't want to pick too many flowers in the city here. I don't want to... Oh. Is that a Uralath? I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves. But I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on Oh, they're going to Riverwood. Perfect. Okay, well, Girder will be happy. Hey, there's Adrian. How you doing? Well, um, Adrian, do you need any help around the forge, yes, maybe? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Okay, I'll do that. I'd be happy to. Don't forget to... to check inside the shop if you need anything. Okay. What are you doing that for? I'm not doing anything. I was just walking over to, uh... Oh. Sorry, that's your spot to stand. I didn't realize. I apologize. That's I was just... good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Well, I was just going to make this dagger that you asked me to, to go and craft here. See if I can figure this out. So we, uh, use the iron dagger. That's what we need to make. Yes. That's a decent weapon. Oh, look at my outfit. We got to get some better armor. Let's take this over, uh, back to Adrian here. Here you go. You think all the counsel my father provides the Jarl is his alone? No. Huh. Let's just say I advise the advisor and leave it at that. So you're the brains behind the operation. Well, here's that iron dagger you Not asked bad, for. Not bad, but it's a little dull. Okay. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Oh, key dokey. Right away. Business. Ah, that's the grindstone there. Okay. 
Yeah. Let's craft that. Here you go. Nice and sharp. Have you met my father? Yes. He's a steward up at Dragon's Reef. I did meet him, actually. Here's that sharpened iron dagger. This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. Okay. You want to keep helping? Sure. How about you make some armor? Oh, okay. Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Okay. Uh, we'll do that. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Yeah, you've already told me that a couple times, actually. All right, there you go. Got some good out with it. Here's the leather you wanted. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Okay. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. A hide helmet. All right, then. A hide helmet, hey? Hide boots. Oh, there we go. Hide helmet. Look at that thing. I'd probably hide that, too, if I had it. Here you go, Adrian. I have uh, you fresh think hide the helmet. My father provides the Jarl is his alone. Huh. Let's just say I advise the advisor and I don't leave know it at that. If you realize me, but you just told me that like about a minute and a half ago. Here's your hide helmet. I should hire you to be my assistant. In you should. Thing. Let's improve the fit. Okay. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Over there. You mean the Thanks one you're standing in front of? I better go around here in case you give me shit again for. Asking me what I'm doing. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. There we go. Hide helmet. Hmm? There it is. Tempered hide you helmet. Talent. Keep working Thank you. at your craft and you'll okay. be a fine smith one day. Okay. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? I will do. Maybe you want to hey, buy this hide helmet, because I don't think... Well, hang on a second. Let me try it on first. Don't forget to check in. Hide the shop if you need anything. Uh... No. Excuse me. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Would you Warren, like to buy a hide helmet? You to protect yourself or deal some damage? Well, I'm going to protect myself by not wearing this helmet, I think. Ten bucks? That's what you're going to offer me? What else have you got that you might, uh... Well, it's just all Imperial stuff, eh? I've got all this stuff. All right, thank you very much, Adrian. Right. Thanks for your help and teaching me the way. Well, that was kind of cool, actually. What is this over here? Oh, it's locked. See, there's some goods in there that we could make use of. Well, no, we promised ourselves. We're going to behave ourselves in White Run. Because if this is where we're going to be living in this vicinity we don't want to uh, be getting ourselves into any kind of trouble let's go uh, head out and look around white run dad and grandfather said that the place that we're going to be staying is somewhere just outside of white run so let's go have a look afternoon afternoon All right, so let's go have a look around. Like, I don't know exactly where this place is. Apparently, it's just a small place, Dad said. Somewhere just outside of Whiterun. We really got to spend some time and try to figure out what all these flowers and stuff are for. Definitely. Oh, what are these? Some shrooms. Imp stool. So it was like fairies been around here taking a dump or what? Imp stool. What are these ones? Blister wart. Ah, oh, blister wart. There's some more. 
That's what we can use to uh, make some potions, apparently. Wait a second. I didn't notice, uh, like, an alchemist or uh, something of that lines around White Run. Mind you, we didn't look everywhere, did we? Are you... Oh, yeah, Uthgird. Right. I wonder if this is it here. Well, this looks... No, this is the stables, isn't it? Yeah, the stables. Maybe this is it. Maiden Lou Manor. I think we seen somebody in the bannered mare last night named Maiden Lou. Nobody saw that, did they? All right. Well, let's go take a look around and see what's going on here. Now, we saw the hunting brew meadery. But these look like farms. My father didn't say anything about farms. I thought he said it was just off the main road somewhere. There's a place over there. Is that another farm? I see some like stables or something, but we'll go investigate. So I'm not seeing anything else off the road unless it's down a little further. Yeah, there's tons of flowers around. Definitely have to sort that out and figure out what they do. A butterfly. Butterfly wings. They must be used for something. I don't see any other houses down there. Let's go, uh... This doesn't look like a real small place, though. He did say it was a smaller place. These are pretty. What are they? Dragon's tongue. I don't want to pick anything until we find out what the deal is here. What the hell is that? Oh, it's somebody riding a horse. Here's somebody gardening, I think. Lysium Estate. Lysium, that rings a bell. I don't know if that's what he was... <gasps> what I think it is? Requires a key. Um... With this guy. Wheat. Hello. Um, caretaker, you're, um... Yes? Oh, you're a ghost. I am the caretaker of the Lysian estate. Okay. I see. Um, my dad told me that I could stay here. He didn't mention anything about a ghost. Do you know who might own this house? This house is owned by Kinnereth. 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 Isn't that a... A goddess or... How, how can this home belong to a, gar, a goddess? Kinnereth has chosen many of them already. Okay. The last owner died years ago. Right. I think I died too. Oh no. Something in the sky attacked and burned my body. I bet it was a dragon. Soldiers from White Moon found me too late. I was dead. They buried my body with a headstone on the grounds. That's very unfortunate. I'm very sorry to hear that. So what are you doing here? I kept my soul here to find someone worthy. Okay. Are you worthy? I just might be. Uh, I really don't know. I was just looking to, like, uh, well, not so much purchase a place, but to stay here. Like, my dad had lined this place up for me. Purchase it, you cannot. Okay. However... If you wish to know more, you should visit Kinnereth's shrine in the garden. In the garden. It would be enlightening. Enlightening, hey? Okay, well, I'll do that. Thank Make you very much. Bless you. You're probably the nicest ghost I've ever met. Friendlier than Casper. 
This is, uh, looks like the garden to me. Got gourds. Leeks. Do you mind if I take a leak? <laughs> Cabbage. Potato plant, but I'm not seeing any shrine. Here lies the caretaker. That's her tombstone. I don't know if I really, uh, if this is a place. I really want a ghost hanging around. Look at this target practice. I was going to try it out, but I don't have my, uh, got to get our bar set up. How about we try this out? Maybe got to get a little closer. Oh, so that's, you can practice on that. That's pretty cool. I shouldn't have done that. I mean, this isn't my place. Oh, you can light the fire. What the heck is going on over here? Right at the foot of the mountain. This is really nice. Whoever lives here is super lucky. Oh, this is a work area. It's a forge. A hot springs. This is beautiful. Oh, for storing all the crafting materials. This is really well set up. Whoever built this place really put a lot of thought into it. Smelter. What is this? An apiary. Bees. You can make honey and bees. I hope this is the place. I really do. This is really, really nice. My dad said it was a small place. Oh, wait a second. Okay, flowers. This could be a little bit of a garden. Kinnereth. I come before you. I wish to speak to you. What do you want, traveler? The ghost said I should come over to your shrine. I'd like to possess this house. What makes you work? Um, well, my father, I believe, stayed here. My grandfather, my great-grandfather, and I believe that I'm just as deserving. That is for me to decide. Okay. Let me look into your soul. Oh, I'm feeling tingly already there, Kenrith. What did you find? You have a purpose here in Skyrim. Yes. I see that. Okay. You may be my champion. Hope you didn't see everything. Estate. Okay. Perfect. Take care of her. Oh, I will do. do the same. Most definitely. Part of me resides over this home. Do not forget that. I definitely will not. Is there like a damage deposit or something? No? Okay. Well. So what does that mean? A drop box. So do, can we just stay here? No. Guess not. Is this some kind of gag? Am I being punked or something? Hello. Yes. I uh, spoke with Kinrith. You have been successful. Okay. Kinrith found you worthy. Perfect. So how do it I get in the house? To see this house turn into a home again. Okay. Well, what will become of you? I no longer have to linger here. You have brought me peace. Kinrith will let me go now. Blessings to you, worthy one. And she just disappeared. No more ghost. So now what? Can we get into the house now? We can. Oh my 
God.